Hello and welcome back to Moonring. Yeah, I know uh, we never see the title screen, do we? It's because I, I generally <laughs> uh, this is a fresh recording session. I just kind of want to like play more of this game. I've been like really enjoying it. Oh, look at that! You can you can pet the cat. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just just kind of assume that that is me petting the cat. Wait, can we say something? No, we can't. I was wondering if we could talk to the cat, maybe. Um, we're back here. I'm going to buy and sell some stuff. I don't think that there's anything really that we need, but I'd certainly like to sell our business. Wait a minute. Scraps of hide. Those are only 16 each. Whereas I'm pretty sure they were worth at least 30 at, uh, was it in winter hold? I forget what it was called. Something like that. Winter hole. So different things are worth different amounts at different locations i should really make a note of what um moon upon thos likes what they what their preferred thing is but they are balance so let's just have a look here demand demand for ward oil is high but you know that makes sense potion of healing i'm not selling those so really kind of a moot okay they have uh they really like arnott's panacea they have plus 500 for arnott's pan panacea but that's also kind of valuable so i'm not sure if i want to sell that the thing they have the most want for is the sigil amulet, but it's not really a good that we can uh, easily trade. So, you know, interesting, but I don't know. I, it actually tells me I shouldn't sell anything here right now. Um, this would give us defense against stun. I'm not sure if there's anything, if it's, if it's really worth it. I don't think I'm going to get that. Um, so I think we're just gonna leave. I think I'm okay to leave. There's, there's not really a, a lot of reasons for us to be here other than to make a checkpoint. Um, I'm gonna double check that the dungeon nearby is, um, finished. Or if it's been newly generated. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's finished. Okay, that's fine. I guess it only generates if you die in the dungeon. And maybe you can't die in the dungeon if you've completed it. I've never thought of that. But I wonder if you wanted to like kind of exploit things, you could potentially just like leave one monster alive. And then, oh God, we're gonna have to wait out this Amber business. Look at, look at me not waiting it out at all. Uh, you could just leave, leave one monster alive, finish everything off, leave the dungeon, set a checkpoint, um, so you get to keep all the stuff, and then kill the last creature. And I wonder if that <laughs> would allow you to easily uh, rake in the experience. Well, there is no experience, really. Um, I guess, what, what do you what do you mostly get? Wow, we took, we, we got bleeding from that. We actually died to bats. Good lord. That is really, really feeble. <laughs> My goodness. Um, did I not sleep? I thought I slept the inn, but I guess I didn't. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep here just to make sure we're at full health. I don't really want to, I don't really want to deal. I thought I slept here. Oh, maybe that was a previous time that we were here. We're gonna leave. Oh, you know, one thing I did want to do. Sorry, I keep like almost leaving and then not leaving. I did want to check out, um, is it called Hero Lynn or something like that? I don't think it is called that, but it's, you know, something similar. Barrow Lynn. I was close. Because I haven't been here in a while. And I feel like I have new information. I have more information. So it might be that this is a place that we should check out. Also, I should talk to everyone here. Would you like to? No, I don't. I'm actually good. So let's, let's talk to some people in the, all the major cities. Oh, really? Lord seemed pleased. I received several devotional tears. Um, I'd like to ask them where certain places are. Uh, Roche. 
where is uh the red grove the red grove really you're not gonna tell me that uh it would have been a good it would have been cool if she could have given me directions do you have anything here you have some you have some pretty good weapons i gotta say uh how's your rates on hide close to 30 this is not bad um only plus 10 on fur but this is still better than than uh moon upon thos so let's go ahead and sell all of that stuff here we could potentially sell other things how much is the the sigil here okay so the panacea is like ha worth half as much here so maybe i should start making panacea to sell specifically to moon upon thos i'm not going to sell any amulets or anything like this but they are offering me a crappier rate i must say um Wow, their rates are actually pretty bad outside of the, like, hide. Just, um, plus 40. Well, wait, plus 40. What's that? Amber, wow, that's, it's always plus 40. Demand is always plus 40 for, uh, for that stuff. Okay, we're good. Let's, um, no, we're not going to talk to the ward. I don't want to talk to the ward. Um, okay, the red grove. No reply, huh? Is it the red grove? Yeah, it is the red grove. We talked all about everything here, right? Roche still lives? Still lives. That would be a trick. Roche died 190 years ago. Uh, there's a p peculiar amber activity on an island in the northwest of the Red Grove. Well, we'll s we're, we're going to go and find that place. But what is this place? Uh, occultist. What do you have? Scrying stones, Rosetta stones. Wouldn't mind having a Rosetta stone. I do think I do have an un... Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute. Treasure map? What do you mean treasure map? Map revealing the site of a greater ruin. Uh, that's kind of nice. We almost have enough for that. What could we sell? Um, I don't really want to buy, uh, sell anything. I can, can't, like, we could sell these bolts. How about that? We'll sell those bolts because we only need arrows anyway. And then we're going to buy this treasure map. So let's have a look at that for a mo. Use it. We now know the whereabouts of mag magma chamber. Okay. Okay. Oh, a book. Oh yeah, there's several books here. Damaged map. You can vaguely make out a location where four lakes meet. It seems to be of some significance. Uh, well, I already visited that place. Entitled Archon Elud. Eld details the life of the current Archon in the year 129E. Words become weapons. Thera Neotuth. History of the Ruthless Statesman Houses of the Sibaroon. Okay, interesting. Those books are always worth it. Um, I really need to pay better attention to when there are books, and it feels like there's always books. Uh, find a treaty on the subject of Amber and the role that Tartarus, Tardius Thartius Roche played in the enabling Calderans to survive during the endless dark. Why we forget. It notes how in ages past people grew from children into adulthood rather than emerging mindless and fully formed from unknown sources. What? In the ages past people grew from children into adulthood rather than emerging mindless. So that implies that everyone alive today does not know that children exist that's interesting some pretty cool lore in this game i gotta say i'm usually not one for lore i usually do not care but i uh, really appreciate the way that the um lore is developed in this game you find a book entitled ancient sibaroon 4 one word catches your eye sock which means speak or shout well i'm writing that down Sock. 
which is to say speak or shout I'm assuming um, that's gonna come up later when uh, I have to say a thing I feel like here's here's my theory we've already been seeing um, these uh, whoa we've already been seeing these these relics like this one Dusakar right Dusakar to me seems like an amalgamation of some of the words I've already encountered um, Delera you know feels like a, an amalgamation but the reason I think this is if we come down here where is it now not Tessera Issachar look at that one Issachar we know that Iss is fire right um a might be something like fire a something car might mean something else but i have a funny feeling that we need to find out like the rest of the words the sibarun words in order for those relics to kind of make more sense i do i really do feel like the um if i'm onto something here like this game uh stands out from others uh, in terms of like I don't know world building puzzles in a way um in that like I'm actually catching on whereas like there's so, been so many games where the, the, the hints are so cryptic I, I never know what I'm supposed to be gaining one book describes the workings of the ancient stone circles stating that both entry and exit points must be known and that the direction of entering their center is key to their use both entry and exit points must be known and that the direction of entering their circle so that feels like the ruins that I've been getting to and like when I enter the circle it, it makes a little dot we've learned oh those are hinges okay that we we know officially that those are called hinges um where is that ruin clue I uh, told said I learned about hinges, but it doesn't look like I have a note on hinges. That's fine. Um, I think there was a one of these. It was like defeat a guardian, relic guardian. But I guess that could be for like literally a relic, and the relics I, I haven't encountered a relic yet. Um, we'll get there. Ooh, have I seen this staircase? Have you come to see the ancestors? Berylin values all things that have passed into the dust. Our forebears are included in that reverence. We follow the lords of dust, and so we venerate those who have gone before us. Their bones lie b below. Aye, they guide us and encourage us to scour this world for knowledge. But that begins with respect. Respect for the bones of this land, both literally and historically. We. If we know not of what came before, how may we become better? Curiosity, respect, knowledge. These are our principles. You would do well to remember that as you explore the town. Okay, let's, uh, this seems like it's going to be very important. Hmm. Interesting. There wasn't there a clue with the jest about a place where things were buried. Second with hunters, a word in the trees. I think I learned that one, right? Has dominion, right? Dom uh, no, that was second with hunter. Oh yeah, word in the trees. That was has. Third is in ruins, where four small lakes meet. That was Dominion. The fourth lies near bones in a mountain retreat. Okay. In a mountain retreat. Are we in a mountain retreat right now? This feels like bones. This is a lot of bones, you know? Um, I wonder if it would be worth using a scrying stone here i would be willing to bet a scrying stone that this place is in fact extremely important 
Aha! Bale's key. How was how was one to know that was Bale? Let's have a look at Bale's key. A device whittled from the finger bone of some great creature and formed into something between a wand and a key. It was created by Ander Bale. Or Andre Bale? Um Rochelle's Rochelle's student in order to seal and, and unseal certain standing stones shortly after the cataclysm. His reason for doing so is not clear. Huh. Wow. Okay, well that's a big deal. I still feel like there might be a just um word here. But is this a is this place in the mountains is really the big question. I'll uh, I'll check to see when I leave, but we're gonna go through all the NPCs in the meantime. Where was I? Hmm, not keen on that last line. What last line? I'm quite unsure what to do. I should visit the ancestors today. I'm sure that will help. The Great Ossuary? It is where we store the remains of those who came before us. You should visit them. They would like that, I think. Hard to tell, though. They aren't very chatty. Hmm, I wonder if... No, that won't work. Stupid idea, really. What? Uh... Ancestors. Uh, Roche. I've heard of them, a great inventor. Uh... Seems to me that stepping on those mushrooms causes rotting. And that's why that character there is rotting? Ooh, another book. A book with a blank cover initially seemed seems to be a collection of erotic short stories. On second reading, you realize that it is a farming manual written in a florid style. Corn? Oh no. It's corn. Big lump with knobs. It's got the... Okay. Um, guard? There's, yeah, I'm really glad I came back here because there's a lot that I did not explore. A lot of books I did not read, apparently. That's a bucket. A dictionary on the shelf teaches you that the D and E suffixes on dates came from uh, come from the Sibirun words dende and ende. Before and after the first sign. Well, there you go. There's some more words. Um, dende is before and then end day means after i i really like this game it, it really does feel like you're kind of like unraveling some cryptic puzzle a book labeled heresies lists the various controversial statements made by notable figures over the years the author's, author's name is Karim. Your father. Interesting. Various controversial statements made by notable figures over the year. I should start asking people about Karim and heresies. A book entitled... In fact, I'm going to write that down so that I don't forget. Karim. Heresies. I know I made a note of it, but, you know. Wait. Aesthetes? Aesthetes? A book entitled Beri Na Haldas, Beauty Banishes Darkness, is a study of the great Sibirun house of artists that ath and athletes. Sorry, ascetes. Aesthetes? None of their work remains. The book leaves you feeling sad. But hey, we've got some more... Um, some more words there, I'm pretty sure. Barry Nahaldus. Um I'm pretty sure this this is correct. Barry is beauty. Na is banish. And then uh Haldus equals darkness. I 
I'm going to assume that at some point we do have to like say some things in, in ancient Sibirun in order to evoke some kind of spell or something. Unseal something. Look at all the books. Oh, this place, I mean, this place does favor knowledge, right? So it's very understandable that they have all the books. A book entitled Archon Karis details the life of the second Archon in the year 71E. We're getting some cud vibes from this. Uh, Krenaya Atil, Toy Makers. Details the history of the House of Sibirun Craftsmen, whose number included the legendary Tar- Ooh. House of Sibirun Craftsmen, whose number included the legendary Thartius Roche. So, uh, I'm wondering if they're... If that's some more words there. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. <laughs> Get it? Krenia? Atil? It might be that toy is Atil. I don't know. Krenia? Toy? I don't know. Atil? We'll have to come across some uh, repetition to uh, see if we can uh, discern meaning from that, from those words. Uh, one book on the lumosite stone used in lamps lists the dangers inherent in mining the substance rock falls. Oh, substance. Okay. Lumosite is dangerous to mine. Gotcha. Uh, rock falls, amber pockets, and even forgotten changed members of f former mining teams. Oh, interesting. I wonder if those ruins I've been diving into that had all those, like, Weird people were actually old farmers. A book named simply Fire describes a powerful cannon designed to kill a terrifying sea creature named Yelaba. It is thought to have been lost to pirates in the Calderon Sea many years ago. Ancient Treasures speculates on the existence of a great key capable of opening ancient Sibirun treasure caches. The key was allegedly lost to a great sea monster. History of the Lamplighters and how it is one of the highest paid jobs in Caldera as only the maintenance of Amberbane lamps keeps the lethal fog at bay. What do you think of our fair city? It is dark, I grant you, but at least we are largely untouched by storms and we can still see the stars and the moon. The moon? Question mark? I thought there were many moons. A book entitled Archon Arian d details the life of the first Archon in the year 22E. Wonder what E stands for. A book discusses a criminal gang known as the Click Clacks in Harrow Dust. You were left feeling deeply uneasy. We're almost done here. Um, there's a little bit more book. Bookage. A uh, book entitled Ancient Sibirun 5. One word catches your eye, Nos, which means death. Well, there we go. Nos equals death. I'm getting some, uh, getting some, what was that game called? I always forget the name of it. Secret game. Uh, I never... Oh, Tunic. Yeah, Tunic. I never remember the name of that game for some reason. But yeah, I'm getting some Tunic vibes from this game a little bit. Which is good. I really, I really enjoyed Tunic. So we have a... We have a key from... Uh, we have Bale's key. I'm wondering if this is where, um, you know... There should no where no should book should be or something like that. The the the, the clue the jest where no book should be. I wonder if it like one of these bookcases didn't have a book, and uh, and I now that I've checked them all, I I suppose you know it's gonna be a problem. Oh. It really seemed like this was like a 
block or that I could move through, but it doesn't seem to be. I've got inns. I'm just like being really thorough. I don't want to miss anything. There is a there is one character that kind of mystifies me. Which is the character hanging out in the rotting mushroom. And they seem to have something on their mind. Oh, this person I haven't talked to. I do wish field work didn't involve quite so much peril. I just want to study, not risk my life bringing artifacts back for study. What about you? I'm guessing you are less ac academic. Yes, I thought so. Well, there's a sunken edifice I've been wanting to look into not far from here. Let me show you. I can't wait to see what you find. There we go. That's why it pays to talk to everyone. Sunken edifice. It's hardly surprising. There's a lot of volcanic activity around here. Who knows how much is already far beyond our reach. Okay, we've we've learned of a sunken art, uh, edifice. Whatever that is, I have no idea what that is. I don't know why there's a bucket there. He says, knowing full well why there would be a bucket next to a bed. Interesting to me that there is mushrooms here that cause rotting. Like, why... Why would there be rotting mushrooms here? I'm not even sure why they cause rotting. Right? It's a, it's a very strange thing. But they do. Okay, let's leave. And uh, we know of a new location, the Sunken Edifice, which is southwest of, of us. And, oh, look at all this, all the bats. You know, I think this is honestly warranted of a blood stone. The one time that bloodstone didn't really pay off so much. Those, uh, those white bats seem to just kind of like disappear into the ether. Okay. Well, there's plenty to discover in this realm. Seems to me there... I didn't realize there was something to the south here. So it's, it's really easy to miss stuff in this game. Oh, this is a dungeon. Interesting. Okay. We may not get through this dungeon because we are reaching the end of our episode here, but step, step. I don't know what, um, what kind of... Mo okay, we've got our very much normal kind of monsters here. I'm going to go ahead and try and get some more blood. We did get some more blood. Blood tainted. So that answers a question for me, which is like, can you get blood multiple times or can you get blood from a character that you has given you tainted blood does the tainted blood is that like the blood is being tainted as you collect it or um is it that that creature can only give you tainted blood oof that guy almost died in one hit Okay, come on, lad. Um, ow. I'm gonna back up while you bleed. Oh, he healed himself a little bit. I'm gonna shoot him. There we go. Uh, one thing we should start doing is I believe the... Is it the um, Lady of the Sanguine Moon? Defeat 50 enemies using only ranged weapons. So that's something we're gonna want to do. We're, and, you know, we can do that pretty easily here. Oh, wow, that's one big loop, huh? It's, it kind of sucks. Did we, we didn't buy that hat with the feather, did we? I don't think I did. Do we have anything that would give us 
ranged multiplier nomads eye amulet which we're already wearing madness defense okay so we can we can definitely make this happen That thing makes a very loud noise, which I'm sure alerts the entire dungeon to our presence. Always broken. That guy does a lot of damage. Also, I didn't realize there's a way to close doors. I saw it in the help menu. It says one last thing. You can close doors in dungeons by bumping the wall next to them. But that doesn't seem to be working, I will say. Took a little bit of damage. Never... You hate to see it, really. We got a potion of healing, though. We do, we, we do love to see that. Ooh, throwing daggers. That's the first I've seen those. I think that this dungeon is going to be just fine. Why do I evoke such schadenfreude into my life, you know? Why do I why do I do that? I don't believe in luck necessarily. Like I don't believe in oh, you shouldn't have said anything. Now you'll have bad luck. I don't believe in that. But I do believe in schadenfreude. <laughs> Does that make sense? Those are two different things, by the way. Okay, uh, we undoubtedly opened up a door somewhere else, so let's get over there. I'm gonna get through this whole game without ever knowing how one... You know what? Let's put the, a bloodstone down over there. What do you mean, squeak? Without knowing how to craft. Can I not fight this thing? Arnott's Panacea. Apparently I can't fight that thing. Interesting. I should start um, selling rocks. As hilarious as that is. Because like, they don't, they don't serve us at all. It used to be that they were our only means of ranged combat, but that's now no longer true. And in fact, they are like, they've always been so bad that they weren't even like warranted using. Okay. Wow. So you're wondering why I'm, uh, doing ranged combat when this is like hurting me quite a bit. Oh, we're blind. Let's go ahead and convert that into some health. No status changes, huh? Wow, this sucks. Okay, let's go berserk. I was really hoping that Oh, I was really hoping I could get away without this guy coming up on me, but it doesn't look like it. So now we're going to have to use a potion of healing. We'll have to use a large one, too. That's the first time I've used that ability, and I knew I wasn't going to like it. I, I knew that. I had a potion of healing. <laughs> That's convenient. But, you know, um, sometimes desperate times something something you know uh, our range is pretty bad I really I oh are we blind again poise broken let's back away for a moment I really want to get the um, our sanguine moon ability like devotion points Ooh, that's a Rosetta. Love me a Rosetta. Actually, I think we can use that, like, right away, right? Blackwater Draft. Black drink that removes torpor, and the drink is deco de decocted from Blackwater Root. Interesting. Um, where is... 
We could make some potions. But I want to use our Rosetta. Strange Rod. Shadow Bolt. I bet you that's actually good. Might actually be worth using. Invented by Alban Bane and considered a poor imitation of Roche's work. I mean, we could uh, we could actually use that. But the thing... This is something I'm never a fan of in like any traditional roguelike is I, I never want to use rods because they're like limited use you know they're and they have a certain number like of charges i i never want to use them i'm always like too careful about them so yeah i want to use shadow bolt seems cool but i don't know if i will yeah we hit him nice Ow, he can hit us back. We're going to be doing a lot of ranged combat for a while. Uh, I really just want to get our devotion from Our Lady the Sanguine Moon. Fill empty bottle with oil. All right, that's cool. We can do that. Uh, let's just fill our lamp, though. Ah, uh, blindness reduces your sight distance and makes identifying creatures impossible. Um, why don't we convert that into health? In fact, can we do that twice? No, we can't. I'm just going to wait for that to, uh, come to an end. Wow, we got another Rosetta? Those are kind of rare. The fact that they're just, like, hanging out here is really cool. Throwing daggers, that's nice, too. Um, okay, there's a little bit left still. We have to go through some amber. That's interesting to me that there's just kind of like, oh no! Our old enemy. Oh no. Okay. This is what we're doing. We're gonna use our bloodstone. We have new tools. Yeah! Uh, we hurt ourselves. We bleed. We're bleeding. Ow. Oh god. I need to fight something so that I can get some mana back. Oh no. They, they died too easily. Oh god. Okay, that's that's bad. I I need it I need my conversion back. I, I can't fight that thing unless I have a bloodstone. Oh wow, you're rather banged up, my friend. Are you, like, impossible to hit with the uh, ranged? Got a chest key. Okay, I don't want to step north. We have enough for a bloodstone. That's the important thing. Um, I could use a potion of healing just to play things safe, and I, I really should. I don't, I don't want to, you know, f throw the game. Um, potion of healing. Okay. So we should, we can take this guy with just a bloodstone and one smack. Here we go. Uh, there's nothing in here. What? Why is there nothing in here? That's weird. That's really odd. You would, you would think that there would be... Ow. Okay. Um, let's just recover our poise. We're gonna get hit no matter what. Oh, we managed to block it. This is going to get worse before it gets better. I just want to make sure I fully check out this place, and I'm glad I did. Ow.
Ow. Scholar's Amulet. Nice. That was that was tricky, but I actually I had to I, I needed like the oh, and then I immediately walked into a trap. Stupid me. Uh, needed like the full power of my brain. <laughs> Get through that. Oh god, that spooked me. Wonder if there's more of those. Ah. Okay, we're gonna slash you or gash you and then slam you and I guess we can do a hurl as well that seems like I've, I'm doing a lot of things but I, I'm totally cool with that range combat yay <laughs> All right, um, I was waiting for that trap to go off, but it didn't seem to want to bash. We're still trying to get kills purely with uh, range. My God, those bats hit hard. That always kind of catch me off guard. Moldy fruit, wow. That's our the last little bit for our trouble. And there's still a bit of dungeon left unexplored. My goodness. There's a lot of dungeon here. Ugh. Managed to get away from all that. Ooh, there's something in the next room. Nice. Getting lots of kills with range. How 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 are we doing there? We've killed only 15, huh? 15 enemies with range. It's a long road to travel, but uh, it's something we, we want to do and we're going to do it. Ow! Um, we gash. And we slam. And we hurl. And we recover. <laughs> Ow, uh, someone is shooting at us. Come on. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna do another potion of healing. Hate that I'm using so much of those, but we'll eventually figure out how to make them and it won't feel like such a blow. Alright, that really is it. We're we're done here. Apparently there's still some enemy uh, near the entrance, so I'm curious about that. What? There's still some enemies? Where are you guys coming from? Ugh, come on. Oh, my accuracy sucks so much. Okay. Well, at least if there's enemies left over, we can... Uh, make progress towards our uh, devotion these guys can just like stealth out there we go they also drop a little bit of money which is kind of nice just a little bit just a little bit of money i feel like some of these guys did you know did, did they come back from the dead like do they rise again because i i know i for sure killed pretty much everything in this dungeon but it's fine we're done we're done and i'm gonna head back and talk to that one lad because we have that oh 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 no oh this is exactly the kind of thing that can get us killed if i'm not careful um let's do like a bloodstone here yeah i think it's uh, specifically that bats call did we seriously get hit by that oh my god that's 
sucks. That bat's call breaks our poise basically immediately. We should look at this scholar thing. Where is it? Scholar's amulet. Bright blue stone in a wire cage with no chain. The vice clings to the chest and infuses the blood, bringing greater mental acuity. Created by Roche's treacherous student. Interesting. Intelli intellect bonus five. So it gives us some bonus to our intellect. But we're here to find out more about it and maybe more from that student. Um, who we... Who, 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 uh, who told us about the sunken edifice? Renfria. We have to find Renfria. That's Flimpy. Porza. Renfria. The outside world is a scary place. Um, scholar. What is it called? Scholar's amulet? Maybe if I wear it while I talk to them. No. Okay. Okay, well, that's um, a little bit disappointing. I thought that maybe they would have something to say. All right, well, we're going to end the episode here. It's been a long episode. Uh, if you are enjoying this uh, series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.